Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fausto Puglisi, President and Founder of Cybertrain University. I'd like to welcome you all to a three-part series of how to trade with Total View, which I call Level 3. Now, for some of you, you're probably hearing a lot more and more about Total View, how it works, and most importantly, the value of Total View. Because what I'm going to show you in this three-part series, I'm going to show you how to utilize it for beginners and also get into more of the advanced part of it. Now, for some of you that don't know who I am, um, I've been doing this for over tw over 20 years now. I'm one of the original day traders that started and also one of the founders and pioneers of TotalView. Uh, when I started, I was one of the original day traders that when it came out to trading in the market, which we were called Sos Bandits back then, um, we're the ones that actually helped bring total view to uh to your doorstep because to be a trader back in the uh early 90s you had to work for a brokerage firm and it wasn't easy to actually take matters in your own hands but the exchanges didn't like it and that's how these execution systems were born now i'm going to go over and show you the importance of it how to read it how it works and i'm going to try to get into great detail about it so please make sure you subscribe right now to our YouTube channel so you can get the alerts for the new video that's going to come out where it's going to start getting a little bit more advanced to, to how to utilize these great, great features. So let me just change the slide here really quick. So why is it so important to have Total View? Well, first of all, just to let you know, Total View is going to give you 20 times more liquidity than Level 2. Now ask yourself a question, how much does Level 2 cost? Well, when I started back in 1994, 94-95, uh, I used to pay $800 a month for TotalView. Now, you know, if you think about what $800 cost back then, you're like, oh my God, it's a lot of money. You know, in today's times, you're talking over 20 years ago, that was probably like two, 3000 Well, if I told you that you had to pay $800 today for this data, you'd probably say, well, let me try it, and uh, if I like it, then I'll worry about it later. Well... Actually, this only costs fifteen dollars now, to level three, and now you're getting total view uh, level two for free. So, what's the difference between getting a free version versus a fifteen dollar version? Well, this is what it's all about. The way stocks go up and go down is supply and demand. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. You can go out there and you could spend all the money and all the time and all the research you want. But if you cannot follow the money, then you're basically trading blind. And this is why when I, when I trade with my traders and my students, this is what tells us where the market's going. So when, as you watch and you see the importance of it, if you're not using TotalView on the NASDAQ website or with your, with your brokerage firm, you're basically trading blind. So I don't care what indicator you have. I don't care what crystal ball you have. I don't care you know, what theory you have. If you're not following the money, it's going to be very difficult to know where the direction of the stock is going. Now, uh, what do you get with Total View? Well, what you're looking right now on the NASDAQ Book Viewer, now with this Book Viewer on NASDAQ, um, there are brokerage firms that will give you and uh, an aggregate multiple ECNs. Now, a, book, uh, a NASDAQ Book Viewer is what we call an ECN. What is an ECN, you ask? An ECN is what we call an electronic communication network. It basically allows you to become a market maker. And I'm going to show you a demonstration what it looks like to put a, a real live order out there on the true market, which, is, which I think will completely convince you that you've been trading you know, blind your whole life. But what you have to understand right now is that when you get into total view, you have to know exactly what the data is, what you're looking at, because this is where we what we see as in in another phrase you probably hear a lot about, which is high frequency trades. So these are where all the high frequency trades are. So this is uh, what we're looking at right now is Nasdaq's Book Viewer, which is their ECN, which you'll if you trade with a brokerage firm and you want to go out there and place orders, you'll see on on the Nasdaq market on their ECN. This is where it will be posted. I'm going to show you what an example of that really looks like. But what you need to understand right now is that you're going to have access to all the, all the orders that are going to be trading globally.
Now, what does Total View also give you? It allows you to make smarter trading decisions, not just having the information, but the right information. Now, what we're looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is basically the uh, website of NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ has a very good explanation in great detail. I'm not here to read to you. You can read this on your own. My job is to get your attention and uh, get you to start using this thing because if you're not using it, you know, like I told you, you're just trading blind. But there's a very good explanation of the power of the NASDAQ total view, how it works, why, do you, why you need it, how these vehicles are being used uh, because the exchanges want to be transparent. They want you to know who's out there, who's buying it, who's selling it. And they have a very good explanation, um, like I said, in great detail of how that actually works. And I will show you in detail about how to get through that website and how to utilize that. Now, um, basically, let me just bring up the page. All right, so you should be able to see it right here. Okay, so right now we're on the NASDAQ website. Okay, and I'm going to log in with my account. Now, in, now there is a lot of other great features on this um, NASDAQ website. You got the data on demand. You got uh, Market Reply Pro, NASDAQ, uh, you know, uh, NASDAQ Market Pathfinder. The, you know, uh, this is also a pretty cool one, Net Order and Balance Indicator. Uh, but my favorite is right here. It's called the Book Viewer. So when you click on the book viewer, you're going to get a book viewer user guide. If you click on that, it's going to basically give you a, uh, a really nice explanation of exactly what it is, how these things work, what each button will do. And once again, I'm not here to go through step by step and explain to you what it is and, and, and you know, in great detail. My job is just to kind of teach you why you need this and how it works. So we're going to launch the book viewer. And what's going to happen is as I launch it, it comes up as a separate window as a browser. Okay. Now what you're seeing right here, ladies and gentlemen, and let me just try to blow this up for you. Uh, okay. There we go. So you could see right here, um, you're looking at the NASDAQ um, stock that's trading. It's stock's trading at $71. Now this is real time data. All right. Now, within this presentation, ladies and gentlemen, within the three-part series, I'm going to show you how to customize it, aggregate it, what to look for, and actually how it works. But what you're just looking at right now is you're looking at the real hardcore data of everyone in the world that is trading the stock NASDAQ. Now, you click up here, and you can look up anything you want. You can look up Apple. Apple right now is trading at $145.72. You could see all the buy orders on the left. You could see all the sell orders on the right. You could see how many shares are looking to be bought, being sold, everything. And I'll go into great detail what those are. But getting back to our PowerPoint, why do I need it? And what is the difference? So let me get to that first. And then we'll go into the great functionalities of the platform. Now, when you look at level two, now remember when I asked you this question, how much is level two cost? Well, when I used it, it was $800. Now it's free. You know what free is worth? Exactly what, what it cost. Nothing. It's free. Level two is completely outdated. All right. It, it sounds nice. It sounds like, you know, you're getting something better than level one, which is just the best bid and best offer, but it tells you nothing of value that is going to show you the direction of the stock. Now, for some of you that don't know what level two is, let me just go over here and bring up my little um, pointer out here and get my little laser. You can follow it along right here. So these are your buyers and these are your sellers. Now what you're seeing over here on the MMID, these are called Market Maker ID. Uh, that's the abbreviation of a four, le four letter of, uh, an e uh, of an ECN or a brokerage firm. So right now we're looking at NASDAQ. You see that NASDAQ right there, NASD? That's this order right here. So let me tell you and listen very carefully so you understand the difference between level two and level three, which is known as NASDAQ Book Viewer. 
What you're seeing right now is NASDAQ looking to buy the stock at, um, and, I, and I got this a little late, so the order kind of changed pretty quickly on me, but you could see at $146.24, there are 600 shares, everything's multiplied by 100 there, looking to be bought. Now, what, now you're not seeing all the, the guys that also are trading on NASDAQ at 146.20, 146.16, 146.09. So you're only seeing the best bid, that, which is this order right here on level two. You're not seeing all the orders, okay? Because there could be somebody out there that would be looking to buy a lot of shares. And on the sell side, this same thing. You're only seeing the best seller out there. You're not seeing all the sellers at every price level. So you see why they say it's 20 times more data? You're, all, you're not seeing the full depth of the book. And that's the issue of why people think that level two is great. But it's not. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of money. Actually, it's not a waste of money because that's why it's free. But total view um, gives you all the data that's going to show you all the orders. And, and by the way, I'm not going to jump ahead right here, but let's just have a little fun. Think about it for a second. How many of you here read a chart? Okay. You got, and, and in a chart, what's, the, what's basic charting 101? Support and resistance levels, right? Just buying and selling right there. Well, did you ever thought who actually makes those supports and resistance levels? You should all be able to answer this question. It's buying and selling, right? Well, do you see those buyers and sellers on a chart? No, you don't. So how do you know you're going to hit a support and resistance levels? Well, you can see that data. It's called level, uh, it's called total view. So let's go on and move on from here and change the slide. Oops. Got the wrong slide here. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to look at, um, we're going to go to the execution system. And let me just bring this up over here. All right. So now what we're looking at is total view. Okay. Let me just bring this up right here. So right now we're looking at Apple. Okay. And um, we can look at any stock out there that's moving. You know, we can look at... Uh, Cisco, oops, spelled it wrong. You can see the real hardcore data of what's going on and, and what's moving. And we can look at, you know, any, anything you, anything you want to look. You want to quote on any stock, this is basically where you're going to get it. So what I want to do right now um, is I want to show you how to customize the system because I don't, you know, you, you know, everybody's out there and, oh, you know, wow, I can see all the buyers. I can see all the sellers. Great. But, you know, what am I looking at and how does it work and, and what am I seeing? Where, where's the data and how do I customize it? Well, let me tell you how I customize it. And then we're going to um, go to our second part series, which is going to explain to you the power of it, because not only are you going to be able to see the data, you're going to be able to contribute to those that data or let's call orders. Now, right here on top, uh, top of the column, it says column select. Okay. Now there's a lot of different buttons up here. Let me just open them all. Okay. Apply. Okay. There we go. All right. So when you look at it, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's a lot of data right here. A lot of it. Let me just pull this up. Bring this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So when you're looking at this and, and getting into detail, all right, um, you got MV, which is market value, meaning there are orders. There are 20 different orders out there. The, um, there's 7,823 shares. There, are, The bid is right now at $31.58, um, and in total, that's basically the amount of share. So it's basically redundant, all right? So now, there's, and the same thing on the sell side. So you're getting a lot of redundancy here. Now, if I click over here, you see what it says aggregate by price? Let me just uncheck that box, 
okay? So what you're seeing now is all those orders. Now, this is where I, I have a lot of fun. People always ask me, this is Fausto. Yeah, I heard about this. These are fake orders. You know, how do you know they're real? Well, first, of all, first of all, a brokerage firm will not allow you to put a fake order out there, okay? And if you find one, please let me know. You know, send me an email at Cybertrade University at my email address. I'd love to hear that. But you, these are all real orders. Now, the thing is, there are a lot of orders out there. There's a lot of people trading it. You, and um, so what I like to do is like to aggregate it, and I'll come right back and, you know, get in more detail about it. But to, cut, to simplify it a little bit better, I'm going to click Columns. And honestly, I really don't care about the market value. You know, I, you know, I don't care that, you know, um, the price is $31.57, there's 7,000 shares, but it makes up $230,000 worth of stock. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't help me, okay? So I'll uncheck that box from the, from the market, uh, buyers and the sellers, all right? And then also um, what I, I don't have an interest in is total, okay? I don't need to know the total. Total is uh, redundant. I'm going to check that out. All right. I'm going to click apply. Okay. I'm going to click yes. Go up to columns. All right. Now, this is what I do care about. I care about how many orders there are out there, how many shares are looking to be bought at that price. That is what I do care about. So, when you want to know how many different people are out there, you want to know if it's one person or if that big order is made up of several people, okay? Because when you trade, that big buyer could influence the price of the movement of the stock. Now, um, there were a couple of very um, interesting stocks that made some, you know, decent moves today uh, when it came to trading. And, um, you know, let's just bring up a few of them. Um, for example, let's look at... Uh, Oh, here's one that's moving today. CCCR is the one that's moving. All right, now the reason why I'm going to look at this one is because it's a little bit more easier to understand. And let me explain to you what, what I'm looking at. I'm going to click where it says the pause button. So what's nice about this feature, you could actually pause it, and then you could type go and start the data all over again. But if you want to do like a quick stop because it's moving very actively, you just click pause. So we're going to click pause. All right. Now, you're probably sitting and asking yourself a question watching this video, Fausto, how do I utilize this data? Okay? Well, remember what I mentioned to you earlier. How do things go up and go down? Supply and demand. Okay? Those are the two things that we look for. Supply and demand. Well, shares bid, orders, this is what is going to make a, what we call a support and resistance levels. So we're looking at the stock right now, and it's trading at $3.20 on the bid, and, there, and then on the offer, it's $3.21, which is one of the reasons why I love trading stocks, a very, very tight spread, okay? There's 100 shares looking to be bought at the best bid price, and there's 100 shares, I means 200 shares looking to be bought on the best bid, and there's only 100 shares looking to be sold on the best offer. But remember what I told you, there are other orders out there. Now think about this for a second. Do you think 200 shares is going to influence the price of the stock to go higher? No. What the hell is 200 shares? That's nothing. It's peanuts. You and I, like, why would even someone even waste their time to buy $600 worth of stock? Well, it's just that because he it works on who's paying the most and who's selling it for the least. Now, what is the strategy behind the book viewer? Well, what we look at is orders. We, when you look at a chart, ladies and gentlemen, and you know there's so many videos, and I know, and you know for a fact you've been watching videos on YouTube, and you know, and taking courses with people probably, or you know, and looking at it and say, oh yeah, look at this chart, look at that chart. My indicator is better than yours. My 200 moving average, my Fibonacci, my MACD, whatever it is. Listen, you're looking at right now the raw data, and the raw data is going to show you this. 
when you look at a chart, you look for what's called support and resistance levels. Am I right? Well, what makes support and resistance levels, if you listen to me carefully in this video, I told you what makes support and resistance levels, major support and resistance levels, is major buying and major selling. So what do we look at at the level three? We look at the shares and we go work our way down and we try to find the big order. Okay? So think about it. Right here at $2.99, there's a 45 thousand share buyer now you think about this for a second who could actually influence a support level on a chart even if you saw support levels at three dollars and eleven cents where there's two thousand shares looking to be bought there's a big buyer out there at 299 okay so if you had a game plan you want to buy it that's a good price to probably pay a penny more than him because you're going to be last online, but that's where you want to be. And then when it comes to selling, when you're trying to figure out and analyze, where is the resistance levels? Where do I get out? Where is the big orders? Well, when you look over here, ladies and gentlemen, on the sell orders, you could see it right there. $3.50, 24,000 shares. So when you really think about it, I mean, three two ninety nine. To 350, that is about 50 cents move. But overall, everything else is just noise. I mean, you got some good sellers here of 4,800 and 6,200 between 324 and 325. But overall, you think 300 shares going to stop the stock from going higher? I'll tell you one thing, the 24,000 share will. And look over here on the bid. Okay, if if that was to go down. Where's the next biggest buyer? Look where the 11,000 and the 50,000 share buyer is at 280 and 279. And look down here in the bottom. The next biggest 50,000 share buyer is at 265. So let me explain to you, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to reiterate what we've just witnessed. If you want to know how to read a chart, you better have the NASDAQ book viewer or the ECNs that your brokerage firm is offering, and by the way, I'm going to repeat this again. There's no free lunches, and, there's, and, and the only thing is free is a cheese in the mouse trap. You need, this is not expensive. It's free. I mean, this is not free. The level two is, but level three, total view, the book viewer, cost $15. Why in your right mind would you not want to buy something and, and knowing where all the 50,000 share buyers and sellers are. How many times have you gone out there and bought a stock and sold a stock, okay, and thinking somebody's watching you and wondering, like, but I don't understand. It was at support levels. Why did the stock break support levels? Well, was, 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 the, was the order that you saw, where you saw a support level in the past, was the order there now? Oh, I, I don't know. Well, how do you think that support got there in the past? Because it's indicative of the future. You see, we don't trade the past. We trade the future. And the only way you trade the future is having a game plan. If I told you, if you were speeding on the parkway, okay, and there was a cop, you know, a mile away, are you going to speed go faster or are you going to slow down? Even if you're following the speed limit, you're going to slow down. But if I told you that th that same cop has been there every single day for a month, Okay, and I told you from what I know, from, from what I have saw in the past, that, oh, by the way, when you get to that street a mile from now, that cop's going to be there. Well, how do, how do you know he's going to be there today? Right? He was there yesterday. I don't know. He could be sick today, right? But the only way you're going to see if that cop was there today, because it doesn't, it, you know, it, 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 it might work in the past, but it's not a dick of the future. The only way you could see the future and to have that radar is having the book viewer. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at is just one simple um, example of what is the book viewer, how it works, where to get it, what it costs, and what my, if you subscribe right now, you're going to be part of a new series of what the book viewer is, how it works, and how we're going to utilize it in more great detail. So click on the little icon that you see right there, the alarm, friend us here on, on, on YouTube, and we're going to give you a little heads up on how to get more advanced towards the book viewer. So this is more of a beginner, um, level three for beginners, and we're going to get more advanced um, on the next upcoming series. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
And uh, to find out more about Cybertrain University, visit us at, uh, at cybertrainuniversity.com. Enjoy your trading day.